Last Friday, a, pers a perfectly innocent Canon video camera, which had been a personal friend of mine, was murdered in cold wire. Uh, this culminates about uh, three or four months worth of, uh, two, three months worth of investigations into um, the building department as to why permits were not ever issued or enforced. Over at Tavern on the Island, um, in my investigation, um, I had gone to Mr. Hans Behrens back in January. This has now been documented. Um, he's uh, stated the same things in writing, that there was no construction that was going on, that uh, um, there was no reason for the permits. Um, all that was being done was painting and moving furniture. That's what I was told. It was the basic gist of what Mr. Behrens reported to Marty Black in his written statement. Um, there is no dispute at this point in time that construction was indeed taking place. Uh, the Code Enforcement Board has cited uh, um, Mr. Uh, Vellucci on four counts of doing construction uh, without a permit. Um, and he was just slapped with a stop work order last Friday for an entirely different section of this that he did not have a permit. Um, my issue with the building department and with Mr. Behrens all along has been um, a, a lack of honest answers as to how this situation um, came to be. Uh, Mr. Behrens has stated both to myself and to Marty there was no construction. He had no knowledge of it. I have in my hand here a document from Mr. Behrens dated September 20th, 2007, in which Mr. Behrens writes, this is September, Mr. Behrens writes, quote, Discussed with Bob Anderson the Mike Vellucci case as it relates to refusal for inspection of work being done at the property. Results. Bob Anderson asked for facts to the case and requests to investigate appropriate methods of conduct on our part to be researched by me, sending a written request to him. Yesterday I stopped off at Mr. Anderson's office to see if indeed such a meeting had take pl taken place on September 20th, 2007, as this document would indicate. Mr. Anderson reported to me that, yes, indeed, he did meet with uh, Mr. Behrens. However, the sole topic of discussion was the interlocal agreement with regards to inspections, farming out work to the county for inspectors that we have. Uh, he checked both his day planner and his billing notations. Three-quarters of an hour he was with Mr. Behrens, but at no time was Mr. Vellucci or Tavern on the Island mentioned during that discussion. Mr. Anderson stated to me that the first time that he had heard of Vellucci or Tavern on the Island situation was earlier this year, uh, I believe after I had um, started my inquiries. Um, if what Mr. Anderson is saying is true, uh, this would be falsification of city documents. Uh, moreover, this document by its date is the smoking gun that Mr. Mirrens did indeed know that construction was taking place there. I asked Mr. Behrens to resign from his position immediately, and I asked the city, if he doesn't, to suspend him with pay pending a further investigation, and I am in the process of formulating a complaint with the Florida Commission on Ethics on this. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Black, do you have any comment or any wish to comment? No. No. Thank you. Are there other speakers, Clerk? Ferb Levine. And then Rosemary Vosange and Gary Budman.